Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Dog Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are playing some Stable Orbit. This is a game that's in early access at the moment. Uh, it's available um, in full release today, actually. Um, but uh, the uh, developers sent me a key to try it. They've also been kind enough to, uh, to give me five more keys to give away. Um, so if you're here for the giveaway, all you need to do is leave me a comment. Uh, below uh, and we will pick one at random and I will uh, send you a message on YouTube to say here is your code um, So five people will be chosen at random. So just leave me a comment to uh, to Enter that um, but we'll take a look at it like we normally do with a uh, a um, An early access game we tend to have a little little look um, So this is in National Space Station doggo here we go. So and we're about to get started. This is our, well, this is our, our hub, our node, I guess, or our core of our um, space station. We need to start attaching things to it to enable us to uh, to grow. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do over here is connect a. Um, so these are all the options of things we need can build. I'm going to connect a shuttle dock because um, we eventually want people to come and visit us. Uh, I'm also going to connect a um, let's have a think about this let's start at the very beginning because we can build lots of things uh, one of the things we need is a lab I'm going to build a lab to allow people to to do some work we'll try and keep all the living stuff up here and then we'll spread more of this stuff out over here uh, over here I'm going to create a oxygen tank Okay, and on this side, we're going to create a water tank. Okay, we're going to lead this space here for our habitat. Over here, we want to build a radiator to disperse some of the heat that we get. Um, over here, ideally, we'd like to build a... Um, what else have we got? I think that's pretty much it. In terms of, I'm, I'm flying through this. I played this a couple of times, um, just to just to really get to grips with it. I'm not very good. Um, in fact, I've never really managed to to succeed in getting people up here and things to things to happen. So we've got a radiator building this side, which is good. Um, a waste recycler. I'm going to build some batteries over here, I think. And then what we're going to do over here is we're going to build an extension to our I'm going to build a node, I think. And underneath here, we'll build our habitat. It's going to cost us a lot. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk through what some of these things do in a second, as best I can. Um, but we'll also look at building a node, which is happening now. Uh, and then we'll build some power as well, because they're the other things that we need. Um, but what we've got at the moment, we've got our uh, shuttle dock over here. So this is where people will come and and land and uh, and actually uh, live inside our space station. Up here we've got a lab. Now a lab is used for um, is used for us um, making money. Essentially, we send research back, which earns us cash, uh, and we're going to need that to expand the space station. Underneath here is going to be our habitat. That's where our um, our astronauts live when they arrive. Now we built a node. We could have built a trust, but a node is actually somewhere where people can pass through. Uh, we need to build a some power things. So we're going to build a, a solar array. Um, I'm on the wrong thing. There we go. A small solar array we'll build. Uh, did I build some batteries? I think I did. So we've got some batteries. Uh, we've got a radiator to disperse some heat which we need to keep on top of. So let's see how much the heat goes up when our solar array uh, arrives. As you can see, it's going to take a bit of time. I'm a bit confused about the placement of some of these labels. I think that's where they extend to. Um, and although this looks like some kind of solar array, it's not. Um, I don't think it gives you... Or maybe it does give you a little bit of power. Um, but we're going to block it with our habitat and our um, lab, I would guess. So these things are still going. The habitat is almost there. Hopefully people aren't going to arrive because we still don't have uh, enough power. Did I build an oxygen generator? I didn't. 
Okay. So that is also, we built tanks and we built water tanks. So we need an oxygen generator. Um, but let's wait for everything else to finish and then we'll deal with those things. So, because we have got some oxygen stored for now, which is good. Um, and here comes our first shuttle look. Oh my God, the door's open before it lands. Okay, there we go. So our first shuttle has docked uh, and we are receiving... Oh no, oh there we are, two, two crew. I don't think they're dead just yet, thankfully. Um, okay, so we've got two crew. One is going to be resting, one's going to be sleeping. We've now got our um, our lab here as well. These are still happening. So um, there we go. We've got our radiator expanding, our shuttles heading off. Um, so we've got food and we've got water and we've got oxygen for now. Need to keep an eye on this. We might need another battery, uh, another radiator. But we're going to see what happens when this arrives because everyone could get a bit too hot. So this, interesting, this radiator is used to disperse heat. Um, so it provides cooling. What are you telling me? Inputs, none. So we don't have enough power to power everything at this moment in time. Um, but that hopefully should be taken care of fairly soon because we are getting our small solar array coming up. We've also got a waste management here, which we haven't done anything with. Um, but I don't know if every time a shuttle arrives, if you receive water and stuff, I think they bring supplies. Um, but hopefully our solar array is going to arrive soon. Our batteries have got some power stored, not a lot. And I'd imagine, uh, I'd imagine that will disappear fairly soon. Okay, minus one meal. So we are losing some some bits and pieces but we've got a lot to, to last us uh, so it's not urgent that we get this stuff but it'd be nice to build a solar sorry an oxygen generator just to make sure we don't uh, we don't miss that so here we go there is our little solar array and doesn't look like it's doing a great deal just yet um, there we go so it's extending out it's going to face towards the sun and hopefully um if it can find the sun, it's going to face towards it, and then hopefully we can we can get some um, hopefully we can get some power in here, and our batteries can store some up. Okay. So this doesn't have any um, inputs, and I don't know why. It's costing us a lot of money every single day. Um, is it just that we don't have enough power? Is that the problem? But if that's the case, we're going to need another radiator to disperse the heat, which isn't good because we don't have the money. Let's just see what happens, see if we get enough um, people arriving. Have they got jobs? That's the other thing. Uh, unemployed. How do I give them a job? Research, okay. There you go, so that we'll take that job. And we'll take that one. So we should have some actual people working in there now. Our batteries are struggling a little bit. Um, heat is still a bit of a problem it's at 63 percent so we probably want to bring it down if we can but essentially this is everything we can build pretty much we've got two crew members um so we're studying a couple of things as you can see here so shift one active resting um so i think we I look like we're doing okay and we can uh, do research and stuff. Power is a problem, I think. I think power is an issue. I think we're using more power than we're actually making. And I can't fix that. Because it's very expensive to create a space station, it turns out. Um, I mean, I guess the only thing I could have done differently was not, this, not build this node. I could have gone for a truss, which would have saved us 200 million, I think. Which probably still wouldn't have been enough. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a problem here with the battery stuff. One person has moved in there to work. And so I'm guessing this is bad, but it doesn't really tell me. So I'm minus 12 kilowatts. 
and nothing in the battery. So I think people are going to die um, because we won't have enough oxygen coming in. Um, but this um, hub, hub one has been vacated due to la loss of power. So because we don't have any power, we don't have any people in here, um, we could see people quickly. Um, so maybe they could have lived in this. Maybe I didn't need this. I don't know. Maybe that was a thing. Maybe they could have survived in the core. Basic life support. One crew member. Oh, okay. So I didn't necessarily have to build this because they could have stayed in here. And that could be why we're having power issues. So our battery's charging slowly. Let's speed this up a little bit. Again, we're struggling um, because we're running out of oxygen. But I can't build another solar array. And that's really what we need to really boost that battery. Um, I wonder if we could stop them. I wonder if we could stop them using this. And we got this is in progress. Um, we're at a hundred and well, sorry, we're going to get over a thousand million. So I don't know if that's a billion. Um, could be. That's way too much money for me to comprehend. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is this is an interesting one. It's a, say it's available on Steam. Um, it's going to be one of those that I think is a bit of a slow burner, um, and it'd be interesting to um, to branch out in some of the specialized areas and see how big you could make this if you knew what you're doing and managed it properly um i obviously don't know that so i can't um but it'd be interesting to see how you you know how how it would progress this is apparently happening although i don't know how if we've not got any power uh, let's just speed this up again and i say i'm sure there's there's far cleverer more educated people um who know about space and you know what what these things take and, and, and need um, so I apologize if you were hoping for like an in-depth playthrough of of this this definitely isn't my speciality um, but it's an interesting little game I don't know how long it would keep me interested um, if you're if you've got a massive interest in um, if you've got a massive interest in space an interest in space I think this would definitely keep you uh, interested for a period of time so we've got an oxygen generator there we're gonna build a um, a radiator because we need another one and down here I think we're going to build another solar array and hopefully that should take care of what we need now we haven't got a lot of food I think we need a shuttle to arrive this is a problem um, this is a real problem so we'll accept this one speed it up again unless we get food we're screwed we're gonna survive for one day we need a shuttle to arrive somebody bring us oh man just in time okay so we should see our solar array almost we've got a radiator here which is hopefully going to disperse some more heat and now hopefully we should have enough power to get both of these things up and running constantly look at that our battery is at 100 percent our battery is at 100 percent everybody so how does it survive during the night, I wonder? Um, so we can um, look at some of the news. But um, yeah, our radiators are here. They look like they're doing a job. We're running out of food again, so we're going to have to rely on another uh, shuttle to arrive. We need to select some more research, so let's do that. Here we go, okay. So up to 900 million, so we could build another node maybe there we go it's getting built we're at 700 million um i think batteries another set of batteries would be a wise idea so let's go with those 500 million but we're going to do it because i think the more power we can store the better for us and the better for our better for our people can you can you upgrade these i think you can Okay, so we can upgrade them and build more batteries. I see. And we've got more research to do. It doesn't look as though the research really takes anything too complete. It just kind of happens. 
Water storage is at capacity, so we could upgrade some of these. I think that might be worthwhile doing. Can upgrade our oxygen. Can't upgrade these. Can't upgrade the radiators. Okay, so it still looks like we're running out of of power. Have we got some more research we can do? We can. 586 million for this one. Um, so yeah, as I say, we're kind of just ticking along really. Um, and because we're adding more things, I guess we're using more excess waste to be cleaned. Okay. Um, I think there was one of these over here. 500 mil we need for this. This could be a problem. Oh, we've got three crew members. I didn't realise that. Okay. Our batteries are almost out of power again. There's another shuttle. Didn't take any of the waste, which was a bit mean. Um, some of these are happen happening, and this is going to give us shed loads of cash, which is good news. Because when we get that, we can build our waste recycler. We can also build another node. Beautiful. And we'll build another solar array. Okay, so I think we'll probably um, probably call it the end of the episode here. This is um, this is stable orbit. As I say, it's, it's, it's impressive. It's the work, I believe, of one man as well, which makes it even more impressive. Um, the soundtrack I very much like. Uh, I like how it looks. I like how it plays. I just feel like, for me, because I'm not interested hugely in space, um, I feel like there's a there's a gap there of, of really taking this to the next level because there's not a human element to it. I feel like there's you know, there's there's little to sink my teeth into. Um, is is where I'm coming from, I think. Um, so we've got another solar array. We've got a heat problem, so we could build a radiator. Um, there we go. Um, we could build something over here again, maybe. Power is definitely an issue. Let's let's just have a look at a whole day and see what happens to the power. So the battery's going up, but not going up enough. So we're only getting to about thirty percent battery, and then we're losing uh, we're losing battery power. So again, it's going to be small solar arrays and. Um, radiators I think are the key to managing this and I'd assume with enough solar arrays and with enough um, enough batteries you could you could stay in power pretty much all the time so we got up to 70% now um, which means that we managed to last through the whole night um, so I guess as well the other thing we could do is upgrade some of the batteries that we have got if we haven't already they're over here We've upgraded them all. So I think now we're getting to a point where we've got full power, which is nice. Um, running out of meals. We've got enough for no days. There's our shuttle. Super. Um, did we build a food storage? I don't know if we did. I don't think we did. What's this? An oxygen generator. Water tanks. Oxygen tanks. I don't think we built a food storage. So maybe that would be wise. There you go. Um, so this is Stable Orbit. Check it out if you uh, if you like the look of it. It's available on Steam for uh, £10.99. and pence. If you want a copy of this game, I've got five keys to give away. Uh, leave a comment below uh, and I will pick five at random uh, and message you the key on YouTube. So be sure to check out your messages on there or follow me on twitter and i will uh, i will send them that way whatever's easiest um, but there you go stay below a bit thank you very much for watching please hit the like button subscribe button follow us on twitter at scott the gaming we'll see you again soon thank you